G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an alternative training bow for cheerleading. This is a tuxedo style bow. It has the same width as a normal big cheer bow, still uses a three inch ribbon. But of course it doesn't have the tail, so it's much better for girls who like to wear their hair in a poof. And uh, it sits really nicely in front of them like that. If you'd like to make it along with me, I it won't need a template for this one but you will need the uh, ribbon lengths and they're just in the description below. Have a look at those and then we'll get started. So to make this bow today, there's a few things you're going to need. You're going to need a length of ribbon, which is grow grain. It is three inch in width, just like your cheer bows. And it, it, it is 35 centimetres. We've cut that to 35 centimetres. You'll need a piece of lycra to accommodate the length of your ribbon. So just a scrap like that. You'll need heat and bond, a piece of heat, a strip of heat and bond that you can buy at your local craft store, sewing centre. That gets applied to our piece of ribbon so that we can then fuse it to our piece of lycra. And then on top of that, we're going to be adding. Some, this one is actually a glitter flex vinyl. It's actually a heat applied vinyl for fabrics, for t-shirts. Now here in Australia, we actually get uh, our vinyls from a, a specialty company. But I am pretty sure that you can find this product in most of your very big craft stores in your t-shirt section of your craft store. So have a look for that. You can often buy it in a pack of sheets and you'll find that you'll be able to uh, make a couple of bows out of those sheets. Because we're making a tuxedo bow, of course we only need enough glitter vinyl to cover that front section. So we'll also need a hair tie for the back, a nice bonded without any metal clasps, a nice bonded hair tie that, that's rolled flat preferably. You'll need a couple of twisty ties to fold down your centre. You'll also need a centering ribbon. I'm using a six millimetre grow grain centering ribbon. And then we're going to cover that centering ribbon with another centering ribbon where we're going to apply. You can see I already have applied my, my vinyl there. That one is about nine to 10 mil. It just gives a little more coverage around the center of the bow and it, and it really does make it a full glitter bow. As you can see on this one, I've just used a regular grow grain ribbon for the centre and I've used a little buckle slider, a little diamante buckle slider. So you can do that as well. You can dress them up as much as you like. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do, and of course you'll need some hot glue and perhaps a lighter or a, or a wood burning tool just to burn the edges of our ribbon. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to heat fuse. I'm going to be using a, an ironing press be, just because I have one. Um, I just find it easier, but you can use a regular iron. I do use a regular iron for this part. I'm going to iron and fuse my fusible web onto the back of my grow grain ribbon, so I'll do that one. So now we have our fusible webbing applied to our ribbon. We just remove that backing paper and our next step is to fuse our ribbon glue side down onto the wrong side of our lycra and press that on. So there we have our lycra applied to our ribbon and I have trimmed away that excess lycra. It will not fray because lycra doesn't fray so we can trim really close to the edge there. Our next step is to apply our heat affix vinyl. If you haven't been able to find any of your little vinyls, you could of course just make up the bow in the lycra, which would be fine. When you're applying your vinyl, just go by your user instructions because all heat adhesive vinyls are different. So we'll just press that one on. So now we have our glitter flex applied to our ribbon. I've also applied just a strip on my cover ribbon which will, it's just for going over the top. In the end, I'm not using a center as I have on this one. This one's just a buckle slider. 
um, which you can use of course that looks great this time I'm just using a little bit of the glitter flex that I've put on that centering ribbon this measurement is 10 centimeters for your cover ribbon and I have just put a strip on that's about six centimeters because that's all, all that will be seen you need a centering ribbon to actually hold the bow together and I'm using a six millimeter there I have also just burnt the edges here and here with my gas lighter just to stop that frame. So we need to fold our bow up which is pretty straightforward with a tuxedo bow. We want our bow to be no more than 15 centimetres across the front which gives us an overlap on this bow of around about 5 centimetres either side. You can see that now you want to centre it and check your size perhaps have a ruler ready. I'm just going to measure mine by this one and I can see that that's about right. I find the best way for gluing this strip here is to hold your thumb here where you want that flap to meet and then you can release that and we're going to put a strip of hot glue one, two and three. We do that because then that's not going to interfere with our folds. If we glue this way our bow won't fold neatly. So you have to work fairly quickly with this one with it being hot glue. So a nice one, two and three. And then we bring that flap over right down to my thumbnail there and then just press that in place. So we find the center. I'm going to flip our bow over find the center so your center fold over is centered there check that we're all even on the front and we get our twisty ties ready I just use twisty ties from my freezer bags I like to use two and fold them over so our first fold with a tuxedo is in first so we fold the bow in half then we're going to fold the outsides half again and you can see that shape coming there, twisty tie over the top and clamp that down, twist the back really firm. So now we have that bow nicely folded down, twisted up very tight in place. Our next step is to add our hair tie, so just some hot glue right in the centre on the back. Try and find the join in your hair tie if you can. It just strengthens the hair tie. Do that one down there. Next step is our centering ribbon. We're going to apply a little bit of glue just to get that one started. So that's our starting point. And then we apply, we're going to apply some glue right around the front and we're going to wrap once all the way around and then we're going to do the same thing and apply the glue again and go around the second time. So we've come all the way around twice, we just snip that little end just to leave enough for us to glue down that end piece. So that's nice and tidy, make sure that end is well sealed. And then we're going to apply our glitter ribbon on the front and that is done in exactly the same way. We're going to apply the glue on the front, start from the centre and glue round. So you can see same as before we've come around, I've glued this one down and now just that last little tab. Seal that one off. Make sure those edges are firmly glued. So there we go, all finished. That's a fantastic looking bow, full glitz, perfect for cheerleaders. Well what a quick and easy alternative to a full cheer bow. I hope you've enjoyed making that. If you have, you could give this video a thumbs up. That would be beautiful. I hope all you cheer mums are benefiting from this. 
out there. I really enjoy hearing what you've got to say and let me know if I can help you in any way with the, with the whole cheer thing. Remember to uh, send me pictures via Instagram, just hashtag payitforward underscore family so that I can see what you're doing. Remember to pay it forward everybody because everybody can and until I see you next time, it's Huru from me.